Okay, my kids love these Easter eggs, the plastic Easter eggs. We usually buy these a couple of weeks before Easter, and my kids can be found outside at least two months after Easter still hiding these things. They just love playing with them. So today I made a cute little Easter egg hair clip for Kennedy and Reagan to wear. See our cute Easter colors. I love the pastels for Easter. So stay tuned and you can make one too. Okay guys, first of all, I would like to apologize for the lack of light in this room. I am actually in my new craft room and if I wasn't such a wimp, um, I would show you guys the room, but it, uh, well, it's a bit of a mess in here. Okay, bit of a mess, that's putting it mildly. This room is a complete disaster. I have moved in and that is about it. There is ribbon everywhere, there is craft stuff just all over the place and boxes everywhere. Uh, I just don't have enough time in the day, blah, 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 same old sob story. So I really, I hope you guys can see enough. See my hands? There's my hands. Um, this is going to be a very, very simple um, tutorial. Hopefully you guys won't have any troubles with it and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I am going to be working with the usual supplies. Um, you're gonna need your scissors. And someone asked me what kind of scissors I prefer. Um, the sharp kind. Seriously, I don't really, have a, uh, a particular brand that I use. I do like to get um, the sharp fabric scissors. However, around my house, um, they are always lost. My kids cut everything with my scissors and I try to hide them and yeah, well, it doesn't work. So I'm lucky to be able to find a pair of scissors at all. So you're gonna need your scissors, your lighter and um, ribbon. We are working with a variety of 3 8 inch ribbon. I haven't decided what colors I'm going to use, but we've got some pinks, some purples, some prints, some dots, all that good stuff. I'm going to be putting um, this clip on an alligator pinch clip, just like these bad boys. And of course you're going to need your glue gun, which I have behind me, ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, do you remember the tutorial we did on this cute little mouse clip? Well, we're going to be using the same exact technique for this bow that we did with this little guy's body to make our Easter egg. Very simple. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to determine which ribbons you're going to be using color-wise. Um, if you have a particular pattern, a color scheme that you want to go with, go ahead and get all of those together. And like I said, I'm working with 3 8 inch grow grain ribbon. Um, feel free to use any other type of ribbon. Just the smaller width is going to work best for this hair clip. So go ahead and get your um, color scheme ready and we will go ahead and assemble the egg. For my first Easter egg, I've decided to go with the hot pink, the orchid, light pink, and a little bit of turquoise. There's really no specific um, size guideline for this hair clippy. Um, I am going to be working with four pieces of ribbon, and I would say the largest um, length is six inches. And after that, you just want to stagger down just a little, like I have mine here. Try to zoom in. See, here's the largest. That's going to be the largest. See, this one. And then everything in between is going to be staggered, just like I've done this clip. See, you're going to go from large to small. And that's how you want your ribbons. So I'm going to say about six inches and then clip just a little bit on the next piece and then clip a little bit. You know, it'll be a little bit from this second piece to the third piece and then do the same thing for the last piece. Go ahead and heat seal the ends with your lighter. 
Okay, and just like in that mouse clippy tutorial, you're going to take your ribbon, use the largest size, and we're going to make our first part of the body. Well, the body of the egg in this case. <clears throat> just take it and fold it just like this. You're going to form a loop. That's super simple, right? Hold it. Well, if I can hold it. Alright, and then just take your ends and come in the middle and meet. Just like that. And you're going to add a dab of glue and secure your pieces. And you'll want to do this with all four pieces. And believe it or not, guys, that was the hardest part of the tutorial. And now we can start layering each piece on top of the next. But you know what, before I do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and add one more color to my um, color combination here. I'm going to add a, add a pale yellow. So give me a few seconds to get my last piece completed and then we will put everything together. Okay, now I am ready. Just, I think I needed that pop of yellow. What do you guys think? We've got our hot pink, turquoise. These are all pretty Eastery. These are going to look really cute in one of Kennedy's hair bows. Okay, let's go ahead and start adding these guys together. And the easiest way I do this is to flip them over where they're kind of making a cup. I don't know if you can see it. And then I just add the glue and keep layering them. So just flip them over and layer each one on top of the next until all are layered together. Okay, I've got everything layered together. See all my colors? Got the blue and the pink and the purple and there's our egg. Now I'm just going to take a cute little bow and add at the top just so it looks cuter, of course, cuter. So I'm just going to take some, um, I don't know, white maybe? Yeah, we'll do a white and I'm using one fourth inch ribbon. You can use a smaller width or you can use 3 8 inch. I might actually change my mind and find a color that will go with this in 3 8 inch. Um, I don't know. I'll let you guys know in a minute. But we're just going to add a cute little bow right here at the top. Okay guys, I told you I would change my mind. <laughs> I decided to go with a shocking pink 3 8 inch bow at the top. It's just a simple bow. But that is it. That is your Easter egg hair clip. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. And if you decide to make one, visit the Facebook page and post some pictures. I would love to see your little girl wearing her Easter egg hair clippy. Hope you guys enjoyed it.